pain means. It has no value when it comes to the Creator. So why are you trying to put Christ and God in your hollow base? Because Satan appears as an angel of life. Satan is masking himself through these holidays and having you worship him. Read. For one cut of a tree out of the fork. One do what? One cut of a tree out of the fork. Now the Bible is going through the vain customs. One will cut a tree out of the forest. Like your pine tree. Your palm tree. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They break it with silver and with gold. They do what? They break it with silver and with gold. Back then they were decking the tree. The group of the Nimrod's grave every December 25th with real gold and real silver. Now, you go to these Walgreens and the gallery and these different stores and you buy silver tinsel and gold tinsel because we're too poor to put real gold or silver on it like we did in ancient Babylon. That's where this custom comes from. And see, they purposely put the gifts under the tree so that every morning your children and you can bow under the tree. So what are you doing? That's a form of worshiping an idol. You don't lit up an idol. And now you're bowing down to it. Then they have it wrapped up in this metallic paper. Representing the, the gold and the silver you had to put under the tree in ancient Babylon. And if those of our people did not follow this custom, if you rejected it, your heads would roll. That's the bumps you put on your tree. And then the tree is not complete unless you take a five-pointed stalk and put it on the top of the tree. The five-pointed star is the Bethlehem symbol of Satan himself. You turn the star upside down, and it's a goat head, a goatee, two horns, and two ears. Red. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with their nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is, is it in them to do good. The Lord told us, don't be afraid of them. Why? Because there was a rule that whoever, whoever denied this custom in ancient Babylon would die. So Ramesses, Nimrod's mother saw that, that Nimrod's spirit was in the tree. December 25th had nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Okay? Had nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Easter Sunday does not have nothing to do with Jesus Christ rising from the grave. It's the goddess of Stan. Nimrod's mother slash wife. That's who you celebrate. That's why it's Easter, a star. And the pagan church is so wicked. And in and, and Acts 12 chapter, they took out the word Passover in the English and put Easter there. So that they'll have you worship Easter. You cannot get three days between Friday and Sunday. Christ died and rose, and it took three days and three nights. If you're on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, what's that? Two days. And there's a reason that in spite of any other holiday, Easter fall on a Sunday every year. Every other holiday fall on different days. But why does Easter Sunday fall on Sunday? Because... They're celebrating the spring solstice. When the new moon comes in for the spring solstice, which was celebrated in ancient pagan Rome. And they was following this day before Christ was born. You better wake up. Now the question is, 
Why would they have us follow these days? Why? Because you're God's people. And your prayers have power. So if they can get you to follow their God when you pray, you'll give strength to their God. And therefore, the people that gave you your God will continue to rule over you. You can't break free from your captivity if you're worshiping the gods that have enslaved you. First Corinthians 10 and 20. Some people say, teach love. Is this not love? How long have we been lied to? Truth is love, man. If you love me, tell me the truth. Did you say that in relationships? Baby, if you love me, just be truthful with me. The truth is love. 1 Corinthians 10 and 20, please. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to double. They sacrifice to what? They sacrifice to double. The Lord says the things that the Gentiles and the Gentiles are the people that are ruling your earth today. What they sacrifice, they sacrifice the devil. Why did the Bible say sacrifice? With all your holidays come what? Feast. That means many animals must die to celebrate that God on that day. Look how many turkeys are sacrificed on Thanksgiving. To a God that gave these people power to destroy a people in this earth. God's people. And as you say every year, even in the churches, happy Thanksgiving. What you doing for Thanksgiving? How can you be a man of God or a woman of God celebrating Thanksgiving? A day when millions of Indians were slaughtered. Was that not their God too? Did God love the Indians? So how can you say, well, I know it was about that, but I'm going to thank God. If you're going to thank God, why would you thank Him on a day that, that was known for straight wickedness and murder and killing? Wake up. You're giving power to their gods. I will never eat anything. I, I won't eat nothing. I will never eat on a Thanksgiving anything. In total defiance of the gods of this world. Because I know our God is the true God that's not being taught in this earth. And our God is going to bring pain on this wicked world and deliver the few that would come back to him. You don't know about the most high in Christ in this world, man. You haven't learned of him. Because Satan got in the church well before your parents came on cargo slave ships. You've, you've been taught a satanic doctrine from Europe. And then you're going to the, to the people that have been lying to everyone to tell you the truth about God. Wake up. Wait. But I say the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. The Lord do not want us to have fellowship with devils. I will not celebrate any holiday. I had to do the research. We owe that to ourselves. We owe that to our children. Let me make sure I research everything I'm partaking in. Because if it's wrong, I'm going to teach my child the right way. Right? You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devil. You cannot say you're down with God and you're worshiping a day that was known in Satan and pagan worships. Well, I worship on Sunday. Okay, that's good you worship on Sunday if that's what you want to do. 